Today we are going to introduce the mapping capabilities of InfoAssist. Maps provide you added insight to your data using location components. They help you easily decipher the where factor in your data. You can also compare maps to quickly identify unusual circumstances or new opportunities. There are two types of maps available in InfoAssist. Choropleths, which color entire regions based on a specified measurement, and proportional symbol or bubble maps, which can show measure values for specific points. Both can be created as chart-based maps or visualization-based maps. You can create a map in one of the following ways. Expand a folder in the content view of the WebFocus homepage and click Chart or Visualization. Or, in the Legacy homepage, right-click a folder in the Resources tree of the BI portal, point to New, and click Chart or Visualization. From within InfoAssist, you can click New on the Quick Access Toolbar or Application menu, and then click Build a Chart or Build a Visualization. For chart-based maps, select your data, and on the Format tab, use the Chart Types group to choose a map type. For visualization-based maps, select your data, and on the Home tab, click Change and choose a map type. By default, InfoAssist uses the Esri mapping engine to create many layered maps with intricate detail and topography. For both choropleth and bubble maps, you need a location field to plot your data. Locations are plotted on a map according to a geographic role assignment, which could refer to a place name or abbreviation, or a set of coordinates. Some data sources assign the geographic role for each field in the metadata. Others can be assigned when you add the field to the map. Because choropleths require defined areas, they tend to use place names or abbreviations as the geographic role. Bubble maps only require a single point to plot locations, so they can use any geographic role type. Drag the field into the Layer Field container in the Query pane. Notice that the canvas refreshes and displays a basic map. After you add a data field to the Layer Field container, you can save your map or enhance it to gain more insight. For choropleth maps, if you add a measure or dimension field to the Color Field container, it will color the area of each geolocation value based on a color scale. For bubble maps, this colors the bubbles according to that same color scale. You can add a measure field to the size field container to determine the size of the bubble for each geolocation value. In both chart types, you can also add fields to the tooltip field container, which provide additional information when you run your map and point to one of its locations. As part of the WebFocus Info Assist and the Esri mapping integration, you can also add map layers for more context. You can add different background, demographic, or reference layers from the Format tab in the Map group. When you add a background, it displays a layer that positions data as it is located in relation to other geographical features such as streets, terrain, and imagery. Reference layers display boundaries and locations that range from a continental scale to countries or even local neighborhoods. Demographic layers display information about people or businesses in a specific demographic area. Using the built-in map viewer, you can control the view of your map even further. For example, you can control the opacity of the choropleth or the bubbles from the Layers menu on the map itself. You can also use the Pan and Selection feature to drill down or navigate within the map canvas. This feature functions differently in chart-based maps and visualization-based maps. In a visualization, Pan mode is the default and allows you to navigate the map by clicking and dragging. Changing to Selection allows you to filter the visualization by lassoing an area of the map. If some of the values in the data don't fit the assigned geographic role, they appear in a list at the bottom left corner of the map. You can ensure that these values in your data display for the correct region by adding aliases to your GeoServices configuration files. With the necessary data, you can also perform some of the same functions that you perform with a regular chart. For example, if you have geographical hierarchies in your data, you can enable auto-drill to drill up and down in your map, for instance from countries to postal codes. You can enable auto-linking to connect to any related charts or reports with the same parameter, as long as the target charts and reports are set as auto-linking targets and have a parameter for the geolocation field used in the map. To learn more, visit the WebFocus Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.